Hey, what's up and welcome. This is Matthew Singati, the hybrid, the double-edged sword, the designer and developer from South Africa. In this video, I am going to teach you how to be a professional in a true sense of the word. I am going to load tons and tons of value on how to become professional. Something that is not easy to, well, master because the word professional has got a lot of meaning in different industries and for different people. So what I did, my friend told me about daily UI. Basically, it's like um, a subscription. You subscribe to it and it sends you UI prompts for 100 days. So this is my first one. So I subscribe to them. I subscribe to them and they are sending me like they have sent me the first prompt. So this is what we are going to create. So let's continue, guys. As you can see, the first prompt, it reads as follows. Create a sign-up page, modal form, or an app screen related to signing up for something. It could be for a volunteer event, contest a registration, a giveaway, or anything you can imagine, okay? Share your design on Dribble or Twitter with hashtag daily UI, okay? Uh, as you can see, guys, um, this is um, achievable. It's simple. It's, um, let's say, straight to the point. But at the same time, on the other side, it's open-ended, okay, creatively, okay? So meaning that it doesn't restrict you to do a specific thing, okay? I think um, what they are trying to help you with here is to do something every day which is it's a very important task okay it's not easy to do something every day believe me it might look easier but it's not important so it's like they are playing a role of um our accountability partner okay they are just there to always send something to you and say to you please do this okay so as simple as it is, um, there are two ways to go about it, if I can be honest. Um, the first way is to design the UI, okay? Designing the UI involves having a screen that has got a title, um, that has got some inputs and a submit button, okay? And that is it. But as I've promised in this video, I want to help you with being professional about it. So. We are going to get into all the details on how do we become professional, okay? So, um, let's just jump straight into whiteboard. As you know, by now, this is correct design. We like um, illustrations. We like to explain a lot of things, okay? We don't just jump straight into UI, okay? It doesn't work for us, okay? Why it doesn't work for us? Because we want to come up with the design with the meaning, okay? So that's why we don't just get into the design. So obviously, guys, please bear with me. Whatever that I'm going to write and whatever I'm going to say here, it's not some sort of a, let's say, a formal education or um, a list of things that you have to do. Okay, these are the things that are just going to come on top of my head. Okay, trying to show you that these things doesn't need a college degree okay these things doesn't need a permission from the world's greatest ui ux guy or from google okay this is just this is just your general knowledge i am helping you to professionalize what you already know i think there is a philosopher if it's not plato or socrates he said there is nothing that you can teach a man a man already knows everything you just have to ask him the right question and he will give you proper answers okay so let's continue guys so um this is um our daily ui challenge number one what we are trying to do here we are trying to be professionals okay okay obviously this is a word that um is um popular and you know most people um use it so it will be very important for us to establish a context here, okay? So that at least when I get into the detail, you understand where I'm coming from. Because if I can just get into the actual design and um, creation or whatever, maybe one might be like, you know, in order for you to be a professional, you need to present yourself to where 
presentable you must have a uniform and to look like a pilot or whatsoever okay well the the person will be right in a way because i didn't establish a context okay a uniform is part of professionalism but not for creative guys okay so let's establish a context okay number one mm, there's one thing that you need to know about professionalism and also guys please bear in mind this is my own own opinion okay i'm honest about that it's an opinion okay so take it and use it as a tool for thinking not as an absolute so professionalism um has got nothing to do with the skill how do i write that okay um let's write it this way professionalism professional professionalism is everything my apologies about that okay is everything from around the skill Then just forward slash talent. Okay. Okay. Is everything around the skill, but not the skill. Okay. Now let me just not the skill. Okay, but not the skill. So why am I opening up? with this number one i just want you to know that um you can be a professional without a skill okay what are the things that are involved in professionalism okay let me just make um a bracket here okay create a bracket so that i can give you the context okay to me professionalism is very 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 close to a good character Okay, my apologies about my writing okay so i'm just giving you a context here okay what is like some sort of very very close to whatever that i'm going to say okay so think of a guy or a a, a lady or a person with a good character okay what are the things that i'm admirable about a good character okay um number one um let me just um uh, put what can i do what can i do okay let me just put a here at least um you are listening to me at the same time so you will understand that these are the things that are admirable about uh, a good character okay number one let's say care okay this guy cares or this person care okay um number two um understanding Um, if somebody is understanding is tolerant um that forms part of it remember guys these are just um random things that i'm throwing around just to give you an idea the reason why i'm pulling you towards the side i'm trying to extract the word professionalism from a skill from an undertaking uh, from um what can i say from a career okay the reason why i'm making it more accessible okay let's say this is a skill okay this is a skill okay i'm trying to extract professionalism okay moving it uh right up the hierarchy okay into a surface level okay where there is the sun okay and let's say we are having a plant here okay with beautiful flowers okay sunshine and rainbow as you can see guys this is life um this is what you are familiar with okay this is what you know but when we get dive deep into uh, the ground right into like that deep down into the ground and the roots okay the reason why at this point in time you don't think you can be a ux professional it's simply because ux or um, ui or whatever it has been presented to you in this level 
okay so i'm trying to push it pull it up up until um you you truly take it as if it's something that you understand that you know you know what constitute professionalism okay it, it's like it's it's your it's your it's your inborn knowledge it's intrinsic to you okay somebody who cares somebody who's um understanding okay um let's say um number three um, somebody who listens okay um and let's say provide a feedback than uh responding let's say uh feedback okay okay as you can see guys um these are the qualities of um a good character okay so let's take um this and um related to professionalism okay when it comes to let's say now in the context of uh ux ui okay in the context of ux ui remember we said okay based on um the challenge one can design something like this okay it's a screen it's a sign up screen there will be an input for sign up your name your username and the login believe me based on the challenge even though you are going to use your skills okay you are going to use your figma skills here okay you are going to use your Figma skills, okay, and come up with a very beautiful UI, okay. Believe me, um, people will love it, okay. Uh, people will will love it, and um, if it you 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 post it, okay, it's going to get like thousands and thousands of likes, okay. Um, um I don't have a problem with that, and I don't dispute that, okay. But now, um, maybe I'm trying to introduce to you form results functionality okay in case you didn't know there are user interfaces that don't work okay maybe you never heard about that there are uis that to be honest they don't work okay the reason why they don't work um Number one, they are not uh, practical. Okay, meaning that they are some sort of imaginary. Okay, they are too abstract. Like they are, they, they are too good to be true. Okay, they've got a lot of special effects, which, due to the current limitation of programming and coding and software development, they are not practically feasible. Okay remember i'm talking this as a designer and i'm a developer in case you might want to check my um another channel of mine which is coded ui i'm uh, sorry coded design okay coded design you can search it on youtube so i'm a developer so i code my own screen and i develop apps so meaning that um the fact that your ui is beautiful it's clean it's um what can i say um it's fleshy and it doesn't mean that it's functional okay so let's go let's get back to the topic okay we're talking about uh professionalism in the context of ux ui okay don't forget that we said a good character is somebody who care understanding um listens and provide a feedback maybe under listen we can forward slash respectful and all those things okay you know more about a good character than me believe me okay so now let's take this into the context of uh professionalism okay let me just um take the first point care okay now as um professionals okay number one we care about the um, environment okay or let me just say the device okay we care about the device where is our sign up screen going to live okay is it for the desktop or is it for the mobile okay um in fact let me start it this way is it going to be for the web or for the mobile app okay because the web application can respond into a mobile okay responsive design okay so is, is this going to be an app or it's going to be 
a web application. You see, we care about that. As you can see, guys, point number one. Point number one has got nothing to do with your skill. Okay, caring, to be honest, it has got nothing to do with your skill. You, you can be the great artist, okay? But if you don't care, people will find you unprofessional. Remember, professionalism is everything around the skill. Or talent but not the skill you don't really need a skill to be professional but believe me it's something that is closer to good character okay so you can extract all those things from real life application about a good character and um, involve them in your own craft okay so we care about the device um, that means number one is it going to be um, let's say a web or just pure mobile application okay um number two um the user okay which is this is like uh, what can i say this is the treasure of software development or of design i think it's the treasure of everything guys okay in business we call this guy the user a client okay you are doing whatever that you are doing for the client for so meaning that this person must be satisfied okay so under care we care about the user okay what can we put under the user what is the ideal user who is the person that is most likely to use the application Let's just um, categorize this person according to age for now, okay? Um, my apologies, guys. Let me just quickly pause the video. I will come back now. Now, I just need to attend a knock. My apologies about that. Believe me, I will be back now. Now, Okay, guys, I am uh, back. So, let's talk about who is the ideal user. Um, let's just classify this person according to age. Let's say um, from 18 to 35, okay? My apologies about that. Let's say this person is from 18 to 35, okay? And then what else can we um, take care of, okay? Um, the device, where is this um, application going to live? The user, who is the most like likely to use um, the application? Okay, and point number three, uh, let me think I had a point that flipped because um it quickly went away because um i had to attend um somebody but um some other points i will uh what can i say uh jot them as um as they come the reason why i'm doing this guys i'm just um showing you first that this is not the knowledge maybe that i got from a ui ux 101 not really okay so we've got the device um we've got um the user okay who's the most likely to to use um the application okay that means we were under care the things that we need to know right yes and then the third one is the industry okay here i am going to i need to emphasize that um specificity okay let me write that here is the key let me try to draw the key i think i can draw the key i think i can draw the key let's see guys my drawing skills okay not that great but guys you can see it's somewhere there okay <laughs> so specificity is the key okay this is what i mean you want to know the industry okay um is the industry like fintech okay or um, is it finance for now let's just say a uh, fintech okay is it fintech um number two is it food maybe yeah ordering food um is it non two three is it logistics okay is it logistics um the list is endless guys there are many industries okay why specificity is the key imagine if you are 
you've been approached by a logistics company okay and they're asking you to design an app for them okay think of what can i say think of how thrilled they can be if you can speak their own language okay if you can speak their own language number two if you can address their pain points like uniquely for the um, which industry did i choose uh, logistics okay or korea okay imagine if you can address their own pain points okay where you are not general okay you are not saying to the boss or to the owner of the company that okay we are going to use um the latest technology or the inputs are going to be with animation you see animation doesn't really pay bills to the logistic owner okay i don't think if they care much about that okay what they want it's money in their bank i'm trying to give you the shortest and the quickest um illustration here that's why i'm saying money okay into their bank account okay so these guys the reason why they are coming to you they've got a pain they want a pain point they want to solve a problem okay so the more knowledgeable you are about the industry and its own problems the more you are going to come up with a sign up screen that is um what can i say that is functional not just a form okay now i'm just trying to say um there is a pretty face and there is the brain okay so now we are extending the pretty face with the brains okay so the brains are important here okay so the more you understand then the industry and um what can i say try to make a research on it or at least um what can i say tailor craft or craft your thoughts okay specifically to the industry the better okay so is either is it going to be fintech it's going to be food and um is it going to be um let's say logistics or courier okay so what comes with uh, the benefits of understanding the industry okay number one okay you are going to tap into industry trends okay whether it's ui trends or whatever industry trends and um what can i say remember in the other video of mine i talked about a user's mental model okay what the user know at this point in time about um the standards okay every industry has got some specific and unique way of doing things okay it has so you just need to create a, a research on that and and that's it okay so i'm not going to get into a lot of details guys okay um i think some of the other things now that i've shared this light some other things you know but you you don't know if you know so i'm that guy who's here to tell you that you already know everything but you just have to be bold about it okay so let's continue so as you can see guys i've just told you that um professionalism has got nothing to do with the skill but everything around the skill okay and then um you need to care you need to be understanding you need to listen and provide feedback remember these are um, traits of a good character okay when it comes to professionalism um relating or as it relates to a skill there are some similarities between a good character and professionalism in that way okay as you can see there are some things that we have asked ourselves which um is going to make ourselves stand out okay people will start to get to know more about us as we get busy with our craft okay as we craft our ui screen and explain to them giving them an idea of where um, our thought process okay then we are becoming um, preferable we are becoming better um, the user now has got a chance to provide their own input okay so instead of just giving them a figma screen that this is a login screen okay so you must always try to solve a problem once you do that you are going to become a professional so guys with that being said um let's try to answer these number one we are going to create um a mobile screen for mobile this is going to be a mobile app tick number one um number two the users um, which is the users could be determined first by the industry 
okay um which industry can we choose um fintech uh food let's choose the most difficult one and i think in this list fintech it's uh it's common because wherever you are you have a an app for the bank that you are using that's um finance technology industry okay you have an app in terms of food obviously i would like to believe maybe uber eats or something or at least you've got an idea okay about food but logistics and maybe courier okay you see these industries are some sort of very rare okay i am going to choose this for that reason okay something that is very rare or maybe at this point in time you don't have a clue as to if it's a sign up form what are the ux things can i be concerned about a sign up form is just a sign up form now i'm going to show you that a sign up form is not just a sign up form more especially if you want to be a professional remember what we are trying to do here um let me uh, create a new screen okay um maximize this good so what we are trying to do here okay okay i am trying to uncover value okay you've got the skill but this skill at the moment is not translating to let me just use a dollar since i think people are familiar with dollars and dollars relates to money okay so this skill doesn't translate to dollars as value for you okay and i'm here to say that i can help you with how you tell your story you already got a story everybody has a story but in terms of telling your story that's where you are losing it so i'm just here to help you to give you some tools and techniques to tell your story okay so let's continue now that um we are I, I am uncovering value here in what you already know and what you um already um doing it means that um you need to think of yourself as a uh, let's say let's first let me just put it this way a solutions architect meaning that um consulting let me just say is the key looks like i am overusing the word key here it looks like everything i'm saying is the key is the key but i hope you understand what i'm trying to say okay so consulting is the key okay this is where the value is um let me do a comparison okay when you've got a skill guys okay when you've got a skill you largely depends i wish i can draw this nicely okay okay you largely depends i think this is me okay you largely depends on your power okay your power is equal to let's say the value that you get in your life this is what is happening okay point in case um let's say i'm a plumber somebody asked me and then i will come and do the plumbing job if i want to let's say i will get um one job is equal to for the, let me just use south african rents i hope you will understand let's say one job is called five rent if i want to make more remember here we're not talking about money okay we're talking about value okay so don't think of coins think of the value so if i want to make more money which is value for myself i need to feed my family i need to become a better person i want to buy a car i want to travel to dubai um go to india um go to namibia south africa okay the list is endless so i need to get uh, two jobs so that i can make 10 rand this is the skill if you are a ui designer okay or a ux um whatever the term is at the moment you are doing things this way okay like you create a screen or a design or if a pure graphic designer a poster and you make money okay so meaning that 
here you are making use of your power not yeah the skill is your power i can say now i want you to transition from this to a consultant okay you are transcending from um what can i say from the labor the hard labor okay to more of um thinking in terms of skill now um contrary to the skill we've got um let's just say solution okay and um attached to the solution is value so these coins they relate to the value that you bring into the table okay let me put it this way the more the value that you bring into the table okay the more money so let me say v is equal to um how much because now this is a different scenario okay but let me just say is equal to more v doesn't make sense but i'm going to explain guys i understand v is equal to more v okay so this means here you can get one job okay you can get one job depending on number one here you are using more of your hands and then here you are going to i don't want to put it this way okay let me put it um the other way here you are using more of your thought process okay because if i'm saying you are using more of your brain it implies that you were not using your brain okay that is um a bit harsh okay or i think it's a bit offensive okay i don't want to offend anyone or don't want to sound like i'm better or i'm a genius hence i'm going to say here you are using more of your thought process okay so here remember the v is equal to more v i think i've got a better formula here thinking is equal to more value okay so what makes money here is thinking okay let me just give you an example um if somebody asked let's say the proof that we're executing it was a request from a client and the first guy they give a client a figma fine and the other guy gives a presentation okay um let's say let me put it this way let me draw me as the greatest sitting in a table with a client on the other side okay okay was sitting in the world's famous restaurant maybe each meal it's one million dollar to be honest guys i'm a south african i don't have much information about dollars and <laughs> the value of dollars i don't want to lie okay maybe one million dollars is too much but you get the point okay so this is me here okay so this is a figma file and this is a presentation the difference between these number one this is a file it's a thing this is a conversation this is concept this is conviction okay this is solution um this is confidence okay so this guy has got fears the client okay let me say the client and a professional This is you you are the professional me and you were the same okay this is you you are the professional this guy has got some fears okay this guy has got some fears this guy has got some risks to mitigate or to avoid or to eliminate this guy um he's 
chasing profit you want to make money okay this guy wants a better life okay enough about those as you can see so this form speak to these okay speaks to these but this form of a figma file number one if you do this guys okay you you run away from consulting from convictions from concepts okay you are going to attract um low-end clients just about that how can i represent this low-end clients okay let me just say this is not a dollar okay you are going to attract um low-end clients low-end clients they are looking for the cheapest the quickest the easiest um that's why you find them in what can i say in marketplaces okay uh, in apps that um have got options where they can see a list of you guys professionals and then they will choose the other guy and they will tell you that uh, the other guy told me that um he can do cheaper and all those things so it's sad to say but this is the this is not the most this is not a better place to be guys okay when you are new into hustle or maybe making use of your skill graphic design skill whatever skill this um it's it's fun because you 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 are working okay you are being paid for for your work but as time goes by you will burn out okay you will see that this is not a lifestyle this is not what i want to do okay the reason why it's simply because you are receiving based on what you are broadcasting okay here this guy first of all he has to meet the client if you don't have to meet the client the most important things are these okay confidence solution conviction um value um, i forgot now these names um now my bed writing is hitting me up okay um now you you you, you communicate these okay the meeting is not important the actual meeting what is important convey these whether it's a document whether in your speech or in whatever but convey these so that you can be the guy who solves um to the guy who speaks to um make sure that um i don't have much fear as a client um with you there is less risk um risk is eliminated i can see more more profit based on what you are going to give me because now um with your screen it's going to be easier to sign up and i'm going to quickly get um the client details i can make a follow-up and i can upsell as a business okay um and whatever that you are saying it will improve my life i hope guys you see the difference okay so professionalism has got nothing to do with the skill but everything around the skill i think it has got something to do with humans okay it's uh, um, you know fears and risk and that's 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 the struggle of life okay so guys now that i have taught you these now let's get into um the practical okay so this time what i'm going to do okay um let me create a new style here so this time what i'm going to do i'm not going to come up with everything from my own head okay like um come up with everything from my own head let me just um what can i say use the the internet okay to extract some information from the internet so that you can get an idea of um let's say if you are at home what is it that you can do okay okay let's see so number one um let me ask google what is logistics okay remember we are designing a simple form right okay this talks to what you truly want to know and understand which is something that is not easy to teach people or even people it's hard for them to explain this is ux this forms part of experience it's not easy to craft an experience guys it's not easy believe me have you ever went to a, a cinema and you came back uh what can i say down or discouraged or 
confused with mixed emotion you thought the movie was going to be great and maybe the experience was going to be great but it was like flat like a pancake and so it's not easy experience um entails a lot of things okay so this is user experience so what is logistics let's just check logistics management so what i'm going to do now maybe if i can come up with some other things from let's say from my own mind without showing you here maybe you might perceive me as a genius okay or maybe you might be like oh okay he knows a lot of things so the reason why i'm using the internet live as you can see i want to show you that this has got nothing to do with somebody else's intelligence okay but an approach when you are a professional you are a professional so i'm just teaching you how to be a professional Okay, let's get a description. Okay, logistic management refers to the acquisition, storage, and transportation of inventory from its origin to its destination. It involves maintaining the inventory, resources, and related information, and getting the goods to the right location at the right time and at the right customer. Okay powerful interesting okay now um, i think now we are ready to get into crafting the screen okay or maybe we are just one step um before we get there okay just one step okay let's see logistics management refers to the acquisition okay storage and transportation of inventory okay inventory okay uh, resources okay and related information and getting the goods to the right location at the right time and uh, to the right customer Cool, as you can see guys okay meaning that if this whatever that i'm transporting from one place to another doesn't reach the ideal customer it's a problem okay um meaning that um there is risk involved here okay we might lose a lot of money we might lose millions and to get what i'm saying so i hope you can see what are the things that you look for okay you are looking for pain points what what is it that is at risk here what is it that the clients understand what's the pain point or how can i minimize the risk how can i come up with a, a solution for the client okay remember one might feel like this is just a a sign up screen what's what's the deal matthew i am trying to show you um what ux ui guys do and i'm trying to show it to you in the most simplest way okay that doesn't talk about user research and complicated terms i hope you do get that one if you do get that one guys please don't forget to hit that subscribe button i will be the happiest man alive if you can do that okay so let's continue guys okay so let's just look at um what's involved in um in signing up okay taking into consideration the information that we got here so now let's just create a wireframe of the screen okay so um, first who is the person that is using the screen okay number one this is a business person okay this is a business person all right um as a business person number two this guy as a business person um here in this sign up form we are dealing with let me just say valuable information okay this is what i mean by valuable information um this is not like social media okay where i just put my name and my surname and my email but if um maybe the social media app is a scam well i don't really mind much okay i can quickly change my email or it was just my name and my same name and they don't really matter okay 
here you are dealing with valuable information okay information like number one company details okay my company details are important maybe at some point in your sign up screen i might put my uh, registration number okay highly possible okay because as a logistic app okay i'm not dealing with individual so i will want your registration number so as you can see okay um that we are dealing with valuable information okay um this is a business person we are dealing with um valuable information and then number three there is money involved here okay there is um money involved okay so how do these um the information that we had before helps us to create a to design what can i say a logistics sign up page that is functional that serves the purpose okay number one let's look at as a logistics app okay if somebody is signing up to us what is the information that i need okay as you can see guys if you could have uh, designed a screen on top of your head you are not going to get this far okay like you are going going to show us like on your form you are going to have the username and the password and and that's it okay and the logistic company will be like is that all or does this guy understand who we are or what we are trying to do okay but now since we are professionals we care okay we 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 specialized we specialize in things that has got nothing to do with the skill okay then let's continue number one I am going to be responsible for taking your goods from this place to this one. Okay? This is me, the app. Okay. So if you are signing up here, number one, I need your business details. Details. Okay? Number two, I will need your personal details. Okay, that means I will need your business details. I will need your personal um, details. Okay. Um, what else? Um, I need to know. Um, for instance, um, I would like to believe in logistics. Like we've got uh, local and international. Like maybe you want. To transport something from this province or from this area to another or you want to transport it from this country to another okay so number three uh, what can i say this um let me say i uh, is radius yeah let me just say radius okay like um what are the boundaries okay are you around south africa or maybe you want to a different country or I will need to, to know that okay um as i am signing up as a business i think the app is interested in the industry okay for analytics okay like for instance the app at the end of the day they need to let's say what company is in the logistics i think i think fedex is in logistics i think so fedex um at the end of the day they want to know um how many clients do we have in the finance industry okay so meaning that a business industry is needed okay okay a business industry is needed okay um the other thing the app needs to understand um how much of work do you have for us let's say or what is it that you are transporting because we need to based on your information that we receive we need to understand what is it that you actually want okay imagine after you've signed up and we are calling you again to ask what do you want to transport i uh, do you want to transport um small bags um, i'm not sure of whatever of a send or you want to transport documents or you want to export and import okay so that means if that is the case that means the form has failed 
like it has failed it didn't capture the all the information all the detail the essential information that this guy as a client need okay mm, so as you can see we've got um the industry okay um and also how can we write um let's say type of goods that you want to transport okay the business industry cannot tell us um the type of goods that you want to so in the app or in the screen how can we put that okay i'm not sure what do they call it in the in in in, in the logistics business okay but let's just say say here type of goods and let's just add the last one guys okay um let's just add the last one and um the frequency let me just say the frequency of use let me just say but what i mean here is that I, we want to establish like as an how much business okay we want to rank you as a customer that are you a big shark or you are just a small guy or okay maybe this guy is going to say i am going to i want to transport um let's say goods which um a million dollar in value and i want to transport these 30 times a month okay so it will give us an idea of what's going on okay as you can see guys now i'm trying to dive deep into the um, what can i say to what the client cares about okay remember the client uh, doesn't care much if this <laughs> if 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 this has got an icon and when you type here it animates and it jumps here okay they appreciate those things cool but uh, there is a lot of risk involved okay in 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 um in what you are designing for okay so as you can see guys now we are going to get into um designing the screen okay so um, what we are going to do now let's just um design a wireframe okay the first thing that we want to have in this screen remember we said it's going to be mobile right and as you can see guys this is a lot of information okay so it's our duty to make sure that as much as it's a lot of information but the client my apologies about that the client doesn't feel like it's like i'm in the bank like i have to spend 30 minutes in this app okay so what we are going to do we are going to draw like um a wireframe for the first screen Okay. So we want to have a logo here. Okay, uh, a logo. And we want to have um a slogan. Okay. A slogan. Um let me think, let me think, let me think. Let's put the logo and the slogan there. Okay, let's put the logo and the slogan there. The reason why I'm saying that is that this guy is a business person. Okay, so we need to some sort of, um, what can I say, establish credibility. Okay, so this screen mustn't just be, imagine if this screen was just a login screen with all the information that we want, but it's just a login screen. Okay, there is no branding to reinforce trust and the guy might not even know if maybe now he's in a page for scammers because so that's why i'm insisting that we need to have a logo and a slogan here because here we are not solving um a sign up problem necessarily but we need to convince this guy as a business person that this is credibility because remember guys these guys are dealing with millions here okay so we can't just have a chip screen i hope you understand that so we need a logo okay we need a slogan okay um another thing that we need to put here but at the moment i don't know how we're, how we're going to infuse it it's safety okay okay maybe here we can have a something okay a text which is going to talk about um now let me just write end to end to end data encryption 
uh, let's just say data encryption yeah let's say okay so i'm just giving this guy um i'm making him to feel at ease like because he's going to put like his own information okay um what else do we want okay on top i'm happy with this okay and then we need a label um that tells um, us more about uh, what can i say the screen that we are in okay we are in the sign up screen we are in the sign up screen um and then let's tell this guy that um this is not just a sign up screen let's just tell him that this is a quick sign up let's just say quick setup okay or a quick sign up sign up and set up later yeah let's say something like that meaning that um we, we are trying to make this simple short and straight to the point okay so sign up and set up later Okay, meaning that we are going to extract some few things here and then after that um the guy will have to set up his company properly okay mm, so now here we're just going to require the necessary information okay so that we can make a follow-up okay so um we've got the sign up and we've got this one so um number one what we want to know which is very important um it's the email okay the email is very important guys okay and let's say here we are going to have the email okay um after the email okay the verification is going to be on the same screen you're not going to be taken to a different screen okay and then we are going to have a verification mechanism here on the same screen right below the the email okay um right below the email we are going to have a verification and then from there um, this is your email um what else that is important your email that means your email and your name okay business name okay business name okay so we're going to ask um, the email and uh, the business name okay um what else can we do okay I think if we can have all other things after the sign up okay after the verification okay so meaning that are we going to ask this guy to get a verification code i think i have a problem with that system okay i have a problem with switching between different screens okay something that sometimes it happens okay let's say you are using whatever operating system like android okay and then you minimize this app and then you go to your to your email you get the verification code okay you get the verification code and when you go back to your screens on your app the screen is not there i'm not sure maybe android decided for since they um like it's like it's trying to be efficient and making sure that dismissing other apps in the background maybe because of this app doesn't have the permission in the background and whatever and find out that um it the, the app is not there anymore what does that mean it will mean that you have to go back when you come back here um you will have to verify again okay i hope you get on brand to say you are going to get into the screen again and then you are going to verify you need to get um another code okay so i think the method that we can use here is that um after you gave me your email 
you need to go your email and verify it okay as you are verifying it once you click verify okay um the app is supposed to be loaded automatically okay with other few um screens or with continuing with the some sort of some few things to set up and then this setup this screen which is this one needs to promise you that um you are almost done like like for instance things like um um, um one step and finish and let's get started like it it must some sort of um generate some excitement okay so i think this is the the the, the, the option that we need to take so now after the verification okay what are the things that we need okay it's, it must be very like like few information that we we need from you so that you can quickly get started so now let's just get into the details about the business information okay we already got the business name okay um we want the registration let's see let's see let's see we don't really want the registration number okay because at this point in time whether we know your registration or we don't know it doesn't add value to us as the app users to be honest okay the email is very important because it means that we can make a follow-up when you verify it it means that we've got something we can email you let's say you 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 didn't finish the sign up process and everything it was too long for you because of we have email we can reach you and still make money okay so i think the other important thing here is the mobile number okay as you can see guys i'm hitting the important thing so that we can reach you via a call we we, we need to have your own number so let's get the, the 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 owner details now so now let's be personal here here we got the email and we got the company name that was cool and then here let's get um your name and your mobile and that is it okay we don't want much your name and your mobile and then let's get started okay so as you can see guys um our sign up screen um is divided into two like screens okay the first one it's your your sign up okay your first screen okay and the second one um you are just like finalizing you are done verifying your email we've got your email and then you just give us your name and the mobile number okay make sure that um when the sales people want to reach you they can and then okay my apologies about that i think guys I'm, I'm good to go so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to screenshot this i'm just going to screenshot this okay and then i'm going to paste it on uh, figma so that um i'm going to paste it on figma so that we can design our screens from here Okay, now let's go to Figma. Where is Figma? Here is Figma. Let's put our screenshot here. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the definition of logistics. Acquisition, storage and transportation of inventory from its origin to its destination okay maintaining inventory resources and red. okay cool we do get the context okay so now uh let's work on let's say on the identity okay let's work on branding and identity so what we are going to do um i'm just going to um or maybe let's just check on the internet let's just because is not a real life uh, project so it's not like we are going to use this let's type here logistics logo okay let's just type here logistics logo okay and uh, most of these logos they are very busy okay these logos are very busy i'm looking for um, more like a modern logo okay more like a modern logo okay something that is uh simple not that complicated doesn't have a lot of things okay mm -hmm. for me these ones are complicated okay 
something that is close to it uh is this this is this one this is uh the best one okay so what we can do is go logistics okay uh what we can do i like also these colors okay let's take this one guys okay let's take this one um let's go back here okay maybe one might ask why do you choose this one okay um this has got a strong identity okay number one um let's look at the icon okay as you can see this is a symbol okay we can use this for an app icon okay um but if we look at this this is too complicated to be an app icon this this is too complicated to be an app icon somewhat there but still okay this it can be okay but um it's busy okay and it has got um, a lot of colors okay here first of all i like the fact that there's only two colors okay i like that um and number two there is this um icon okay which is it's a like a best identity okay so let's continue guys okay so um let's see what we can do here okay guys what we can do here um we can just 